Vlogtober, day 12. I packed up a bunch of our Halloween stuff at our house that I can't put out anymore because when we rearrange the house, I don't have the buffet to put all the cutesy kitschy stuff out on a flat surface. So we have a really awesome flat surface at work that I'm taking all of it in and I'm decorating. Now I'm gonna not use tape and do anything like that because I'm not trying to like make HR mad <laughs> by putting things out in the new office. So I am making sure everything uh, either suction cups to the glass right above the file cabinet or um, just sits on top. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to the dollar store to pick up a few more things because I need some, I need suction cups. I packed those away when I thought we were going to be putting the house up for sale. So um, I think this one opens at 8. Let's hope it opens at 8. I think it opens at 8. And then I need to get more candy for the candy drawer. Um, not that it's low, but um, I feel like we could use a bit more. Oh, I don't think it's open. No! fail it's open yes I saw somebody go in okay now I got park I'm gonna go over here yeah so I bought a tree on Amazon it's a collapsible tree and I'm really really excited for it so I'll show you guys when that comes in too all right let's do this Christmas is already up. Let's see what they even have left for Halloween. Oh, I'm gonna get this though. For how long is it? Five yards. That'll be good. All right. Okay, ready? Real talk. I'm tired. I worked all day. I pick up my kid. I get home. I have to unload my work bags. Well, no, no. I had to stop at the store because I knew we needed toilet paper. Stop at the store. Of course, the kid needs to buy 18 other things. Doesn't need to, but uh, we get a few other things, but whatever. Get home. Unload said bags. Unload book bags. Unload work bags. Unload lunch boxes. Put away stuff. Put the dishes that are somehow in the sink in the dishwasher that I didn't leave. I left one. I'm just tired. We're reheating hot dogs that we grilled the other day. And we're gonna have beans. And I let my kid have ice cream. Because I'm just done. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end this. Because. Yeah. Who wants to watch this content? <laughs> Oh, I did take that sweater to work and I worked on it last night and I took it to work and I worked on it at work. It takes me like half an hour to do two rows and that's a lot. But then I was talking to a coworker. We decorated for Halloween, obviously. Look, that was fun. That was a very good highlight of the day. Um, and then I have one more thing to add tomorrow. The dollar store had nothing. The dollar store already had Christmas and barely anything for Thanksgiving. Dollar store. I mean, I love the dollar store. <laughs> uh, but it turned out fine. It, it looked cute. But I was talking to a coworker and her mom, 
and she was talking about hats and she's they've been looking for a hat for winter for her and I was like "Ooh, could I try to make something and and I love Mandy it, the, the girl's name's Mandy she's not gonna care I love Mandy and I love her mom so I am going to attempt to make like a page boy cap because she likes wearing baseball hats. So I'm going to attempt making this page boy cap and it's, I'll insert a picture. And I have tons of just like worsted weight acrylic. So I'm going to try to do it like a pro, not so much a pro. I'm going to do it per the pattern. I bought the pattern. It's crochet. My cat is licking plastic. and And then... Yeah, okay, let me finish. So I'm going to try making that and see if she likes it. And if she really likes it, then we'll buy maybe some nicer yarn and then make another another one. Um, I'm just going to do like a neutral color. But Okay, yeah, so on top of being mom and doing all the things and you just feel like this weight is on you all the time, the cats then are demanding food and demanding wet food. And then they want love and you just want... <sighs> And like my kid was like, mommy, will you just snuggle with me? And normally I drop everything and I say yes. And I'm like, you know what? Mommy just needs some alone time. So that's why I'm in the dungeon. I'm going to look through my yarn. You want to look through my yarn that I'm going to pass? I already think I know what I'm going to use. Let me just, I'll grab it right now. Here. It's right behind you guys. Oh God, I'm making a mess. I'm just gonna use this. This is gonna be, this, I, I'm gonna use this. It's Walmart yarn that I made, I made something else out of. And I'm gonna, I mean, I had other balls. This is a brand new one. I'm gonna use it. Stay tuned for her crochet page boy hat that hopefully she really loves. Oh, I hope she really loves it. I'll feel really, really, that'll be satisfying. All right, I have now waffled, I've never used that term, but I have waffled on quite a lot. I'm gonna wrap this up right now. How about that win for the Ravens yesterday? Whoop, whoop. I don't watch football, but it was pretty cool. John's keeping the hat. <laughs> All right, good night, y'all. Polly Buster, right? You love this. Okay, we'll read a little bit. Chapter 21. We're almost done this book. Polly closes her eyes and takes a deep breath in. Oh, <laughs> takes in a deep breath of the hot air around her. She pictures all the people she loves. Her mother, her sister, her teacher, her aunt, and of course her dearest friend Buster, who would be so sad if she did something so bad. Something so bad it would be impossible to come back from. She knows what kind of silver witch she wants to be. She has known it all along. Polly breathes out, and long stream of hot, stink, stinky purple mist oozes from her nostrils and pours from her skin. She opens her eyes and sees it drift up and away from her and sizzle in the burning flames. Polly lifts her hands up and draws the ring of fire back into her fingertips. Miss Holloway bobs on her broomstick only a few feet away, her cheeks red and the tips of her hair singed. Ha! You didn't have the courage, did you? She crows weakly. You had the chance to vanquish your greatest enemy, and here you are, still hesitating. What kind of witch are you, Polly? She squawks. Polly takes another deep breath. Is there and any pictures? No pictures yet. And her voice comes out calm and strong. I'm a silver witch, Miss Holloway, she calls from a safe distance. The most powerful witch of all but not powerful in the way you want me to be, powerful in the way I want to be.